Esiste un spettatore di Tanata Madagascar, non ha un comando, il lume con il show ora tal Malta Feline Guardians Club, di Nia di Saucletin Show, il lì è di Nitella, il Malta Feline Guardians Club, e di Nawek di Point il lume, il fatto è la giornata tal Carnival, ma duaina il giornata colla che è falzar o tal colletta è tal di Nawek del costume. Quando ho il fatto è che non ho un comando, è di Nitella, ma non è di Nitella, ma non è di Nitella, ma non è اللي عنا ولا هو الحسن اللي كنا نتكلم معه هو جاج من ساوث أفريكا أم من سوريا وهم هم كنا نتكلم معه ده شيء ونرى ده شيء لسبيان ساتي أو حلا جاج. so I was telling our televiewers of the program that we will be having a few minutes with you and first of all we'd like to welcome you once again here in Malta and also in our show. so First thing to start with, um, your first impression with regards to the show now that you've been here, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago? Yes. Um, this show, of course, is different from the previous one, which was in a hotel. Mm -hmm. And the atmosphere here is very nice. You see the real carnival atmosphere and a lot of happy noise, a lot of happy children, a lot of beautiful costumes. And I think it gives a different uh, feeling to the show altogether which is very interesting um, because I think a cat show should be a very happy event not always only serious but and, and I was amazed to see that the cats were very happy as well we didn't see any aggressive cats or any cats that were afraid um, the cats seem to be enjoying all the attention that they are getting so if, in fact um, that's something that normally would like to um, say that most probably they are so familiar and, and uh, um, comfortable with such noise because they live with the family so yes. when you live with the family obviously yes. um, we Maltese families are a yes. little bit noisy sometimes yes. so obviously for, for the cats it's something normal yes. having a noisy environment uh, yes I think it's also great to have a show like this where the people who come to visit the show are not the ones that would usually go to a cat show because it's people coming for shopping and they see cats and they find it interesting In fact, and uh, uh, it's a good way to expose uh, the general public to pedigree cats. In fact, um, we're, we're, we're having the concept now that like we're bringing the cat shows to the people. It's, That's not, right. the, it's not the visitors coming to visit us, yes. it's we're getting the cat show here um, where obviously can everyone can come and see free of charge yes. and sometimes um, it's very interesting because you have people that they, they don't know what these cat shows are and they are very reluctant to go these yes. shows. They don't know what they're going to find. And when they're here, as, as you said, people are shopping. It's not their normal thing to do, to yes. go to a cat show. And, and they find such thing here, yes. in, here in, in yes. this place. Yeah. Very good. Uh, with regards to the cats, uh, can you tell us a little bit with regards to what you saw so far? Like uh, the cat in general, grooming? Uh, well, this morning, um, it's, it's always a small show in Malta. Um, but it's very good quality and this morning was no exception. Um, beautiful cats, very nice examples of their breeds. I was very happy to see some short-haired cats as well and some cats from Russia. It's the first time I see a Peterbilt in Malta and very good quality like you will find in any of the big cities of, of Russia. And also the, uh, the semi-long hairs were really beautiful. Um, what I found very encouraging is that I had a lot of muted cats today. That means not cats only for breeding, but cats that are really pets at home and really good quality. Very nice, well presented, well behaved, good condition. I didn't see any fat cats that are <laughs> overfed. I didn't see any thin cats that are not in good condition. And the, it was a very happy show and very good quality. So it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. And that's very encouraging. In fact, um, these are, I, I, I like to say that these are the pride of their owners. Because yes. when you see such nice grooming, yes. and as you're saying, they are thin, they are healthy. Yes. So it means that these cats, the welfare of these cats, it's being taken into consideration yes. Yes. all through through the air. Not, not for, for, for the cat yes. show, only for that. Uh, particular day. So now, as a judge, can you tell us a little bit uh, how long have you been judge um, and, and well, what goes I with this? I started with my first um, judging examinations in about 1988, I think 87, and I was qualified um, 
I think the first time in 1988, so it's a long time ago. <laughs> you, it, you start it, losing it, track of the yes, years. Yes, <laughs> it, it, it took a long time to become an Aubrey's judge in South Africa because our training is extremely strict and we don't have that many shows, so it's a slow process. Um, but of course I travel a lot throughout all the continents and I have judging licenses from many different organizations. So the different styles of cat, the different um, approaches, the different uh, style of show, the different administration, I find fascinating. And sometimes a little bit challenging to remember, okay, today is a WCF show, these are the rules. Tomorrow is a Tika show, it's completely different. And of course, in different countries, different languages, and also different cultures. And what I find fascinating is the the exhibitors, the culture of the exhibitors. In some countries, they speak a lot and they are really interested and they, whatever. In some countries, they will even argue with the judge. Okay. Um, in some countries, they are very quiet and reserved, not speak to the judge, don't say anything. <laughs> so, yes. You find, you find every, uh, fascinating. You yes. find every type of, uh, of, 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 of uh, readers and of exhibitors, as yes. we said. In fact, you have those ones that are very interactive with the judge. They, they yes. want to know more yes. about um, about the cat and what yes. the judge thinks about their cat. But sometimes um, uh, that's what we find that is nice here in Mota that we have small uh, small yes. shows because even the judge has time to have you that. Speak. You speak with the exhibitor yes. that are interactive uh, yes. um, with 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 the, with the yes. exhibitors. Uh, well, I would like to thank you for your time. Obviously, they making uh, gestures with their hands at the time is over. We have yes. to close our, our interview here. Once again, we'd like to thank you for being here with us. And obviously, we hope that you have some uh, relaxing time here on our island and you can visit our carnival. Of course. So you're more than lucky to be here um, in these uh, colorful days. Let's, let's, uh, let's say like that. Thank you very much thank once you. again. Thank you. It's a great privilege. Thank you.